the four things you need to ask a loan professional when you go talk to people about because that's really the starting point when it comes to real estate right you need that pre-approval so when you sit with a lender call them on the phone four things you need to ask point right. number one what are they number one you want to ask them hey what is the process they're going to use to pre-approve you before they send you a letter so you can go look at homes that is just critical, Paul. Because there's there's one that's really more a better letter than the other, right? Sure. Pre-qual versus pre-approval. What, right. What do you want to hear in that answer? You want to hear that you're being pre-approved, and yeah. I'll take it a step further than that, because here's what happens oftentimes. You'll call a loan officer. They're busy. They're yeah. juggling all kinds of things. Sure. And you need to get a pre-approval. Right. So they'll get your information over the phone. They'll pull your credit report. They'll ask you a few questions. They'll say you're all set. They'll send off the letter. You go look for homes. Then you find out after you have an offer accepted and you're in the middle of the thing that suddenly there's something that they didn't discover that's causing a big issue and you can't move forward. Right. And, and by the way, as we represent sellers so often, and there's right now you know in the industry, there's a lot of buyers sometimes per listing, right? There's a, a competition to sure. get that house, to get your offer approved or accepted. And so the good listing agent is going to start asking questions of the lender. So you want to yeah, be working yeah. with a lender who has you really down the road here to not, you know, pre-approval should be a slam dunk to close in that thing, right? Right. And, and just to be clear, if someone is pre-approving you, that really means they should be getting your basic income documents from you, right. your asset documents, and reviewing them before they issue that letter. Now, I take it a step further. If there is any gray area where I'm concerned something might come up, I'm actually going to take a complete file, submit it to an actual underwriter, have them approve the file, usually within about 48 hours, and then and only then issue that approval letter. Mm -hmm. I don't want you going to look at 50 homes, getting emotionally in love with a home, there you go. only to find out you can't even buy it. You wasted yeah. all of your time, and it's just devastating yeah, for you. And if you're married, then your wife's going to kill you, yeah. too. And I, don't, I mean, I'm married, so I don't want that to happen. We to don't you. want to get in between any husband. That's family no. business. Thing. Right. You're listening to Michigan Real Talk with Paul and Tina Curtis. We're sitting